these simple mistakes wreck most beginner 3D printed car parts. But after countless failures, I learned the hard way how to avoid these disastrous results. So for starters, you're going to have to pick the right filament that you're going to print with, but you also need to know what car part you're going to print. So if you plan to print parts like vent gauges or even radio delete plates or other plastic parts you might find online, you might be tempted to 3D print with a filament called PLA. And the reason is it's because it's pretty cheap and it's also super easy to print with. But the downside is its melting point is about 134 degrees. So that's where ASA filament comes in. It can handle up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's super UV resistant, which means you can use it for exterior car parts too. Now that you know what filament to use, but don't have a specific part, you can check out the link in the description. We have some free parts that you can modify, like a radio delete plate. And we also have an entire CAD course that you can check out where we'll teach you how to make parts too. 